Now, from Microsoft, the company that taught the world to turn their computers off by pressing a button marked Start, comes Vista. An operating system so maddening you'll want to drive up the Redmond to throttle Bill Gates. Ask anyone who slogged the Batan death march that's been the Windows experience. No one does bloatware like Microsoft. Why is that? Some years ago, Microsoft learned that a frustrated employee is an adrenalized employee. One who, in spite of appearance, actually accomplishes more. But we didn't stop there. We set out to devise the most torturous computing experience ever created. Culling the worst from Windows CE, Windows ME, and Windows NT, we codenamed the new project Windows Cement, the first operating system specifically designed to sink employee morale and weigh computers down like a stone. The result was Vista, an operating system so overblown we've chopped it up into six different versions, none of which work. Not until you've spent hundreds more dollars on equipment upgrades, but it'll be worth it because here you'll see more crashes than a NASCAR rodeo, and even more relentless Windows Messenger service you couldn't dislodge with an Exocet missile, and a brand new Aero interface that lets you scroll through blue screens, black screens, red screens, security warnings, and endless yes-no permission questions all in eye-popping 3D. We've also removed anything in the way of antivirus software, offering instead Windows Defender. The minute your data is contaminated by a virus, Defender appears to cast thousands of electronic lassos to corral the infection. We call this innovation DCS, or doesn't catch shit. And by God, it doesn't. Modeled on the same charcoal filtration technology first foisted on the public by the cigarette companies, it's got more holes than a number nine sponge. But rest easy, because every copy of Vista is covered by our famous single hole of support. Microsoft's paradigm of complete and total indifference toward the customer that's become the gold standard for today's biggest companies. Call us with a problem, get a three-hour version of Born Free. Yet give us any indication you're going to make a purchase, and you'll have to go to the Mayo Clinic to get our sales department off your ass. Yes, find out why we say Vista. Where are we now? 